Hey people, it's your girl Carmen. And I just really wanted to make this video just to kind of touch base with, you know, all of you. Um, everyone that's been asking what's been going on regarding our business relocation strategy over at Plush. Um, just coming from a meeting right now. And needless to say, it is so important to stand up to make sure that you are part of conversations now. And why I say that is because remember what I'm like, I'm a creative, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm many things, but I am so pro community and culture and what that means by way of human existence in the long term, right? So what does the world look like in years to come? And I'm always conscious about what I'm doing to contribute to change, to contribute to making sure that our voices are heard, young people are, are heard and services are cultivated with them at the heart and the center of things, right? Because I've got children myself and I wanna make sure that when my time is done <laughs> and God says it's time for God, I know that what is left behind is a world worth living in and a world where many people of every single culture can thrive and, you know, progress, right? Equality across, in, in very, 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 various different um, ways you wanna put it. But what I've learned from this process is how easy it is for people in society that are up there to sideline people that look like me and I say that, and many of you, you know, who may not be black or Asian or minority ethnic or whatever you want to friggin' call it, but for me as a woman, as a black woman, in an area where I grew up predominantly racist, that's evolved over time, that's only changed because of integration, right? And unity and people coming together. But what keeps happening as much as we're working hard at this whole equality thing and making sure that, you know, we've got representation and all of that, up there, up there, <laughs> there is work to do. Like, when me and my husband are actually fighting this fight, we're fighting it to a level that many of you are not even seeing because we're not making that level available to you like, yet because that's our burden, right? We just want to make sure that community and culture exists and coexists for our community of plush and all the other areas of you know life but at the same time we're always conscious of like it's blowing my mind the level of disregard for black businesses black people and culture up there like how our visions and missions and our goals and what we really see as a good way of living right is not how they see life. And, and to, to many, and I'm not saying all, I'm saying to many, right? Yeah, they're a very small few, but that small few are like the ones with the pot of gold that got all this financial freedom. Some may say privilege, but at the same time, I'm constantly mind blown because I go back to the stories of when I was younger, my mum used to say to me, when you're this, and when I do this, people that are not this, you need to understand. When you see somebody do this, it means when you're a person of colour, it means you've got to work ten times harder anyway. Sad, right? But at the same time, I go from hearing my mum tell me that when I was young to now living it and feeling like, why is this so hard? If my name was Jane and I was blonde, this wouldn't be so hard. I wouldn't have to feel like in every single conversation and room, I need to reprove myself we justify our, our purpose and champion for support and this is why we constantly need community and i want to just say thank you to everybody that's been really part of this whole movement follow the hashtag no price on culture this has now become a space for me to really use creativity and design to really push forward something really special that i hope that the world are going to be able to connect with um because it's a global problem it's not just a southeast london problem and it's much more bigger than Max and I. And I'm hopeful that somewhere around the world, somewhere, someone's going to be able to tap into this journey that we've experienced and find strength to keep going. I'm not going to lie to you. Four years is a long time to be fighting something. 
four years of fighting it silently and quietly to now be fighting it publicly for like the last six months, right? But it's been a long journey. It's been a long journey and talking has helped. So I want to say thank you to everyone. This is a bit of a long video now, so I'm about to sign off. But I just want to throw this on my, my platform um, and tell you where to go and follow these links below. Join the conversation. And hi, my name's Carmen. If you don't know, I'm a creative and I use the power of media and content and visual to basically connect people together and build stories. So right now my focus is really trying to save my family, our family business, but also build a way forward for the next person.